Hello, um, welcome to Ratio Tables. Um, I'm going to take you through it. Uh, hopefully, it should make life a lot simpler, um, especially in the exam, make it much calmer, uh, which I'm going to take you through today. So, uh, you've got a maths problem that you've been set in, in the exam, and you're given a ratio, and you're then going to use that ratio, and you're going to find out another number. So, this might be uh, the time taken uh, to get from so how much, how much so you were given a speed ratio, and the amount of time it takes to get somewhere, or it might be a volume. Or it might be, you know, you're given a whole set of numbers, I don't know, the recipe for a cheesecake and how much it takes to do four, four people's worth of cheesecake and then how much for, for how many, how much flour, so let's say, do you need for so many people. So you're given these, these uh, ratio and so I'll give you an example. Let's say we've got a car that's going to cover uh, 125 kilometres in one and a half hours. That's how fast it goes. And how long does it take to get to 250 uh, kilometres? So uh, the first option you've got here really is you could work out um, how much does one get us? You know, what, what, we get something down to a one, and then we we'll multiply that up. So we've got 125 kilometres in one and a half hours. So one hour, um, one hour gets us um, 83.3 recurring uh, kilometres. So that's what we get in, in one hour. And then we're going to then uh, divide the 250 by that number, and that gives us three hours. So it'll take us three hours to get there. Um, and the problem with that was it was all quite messy and complicated, wasn't it? You know, there was a, there was lots of decimal points here because we were we had a big number, we had a small number. Uh, so how were we get we how were we got about it? Uh, we were getting some some messy uh, calculations. And so in my head, I had well, the equation of the 125 kilometers divided by the one and a half hours. I knew that I wanted 250 kilometers, and then I started to do this this equation, and it was all all quite complicated when we were trying to get get down to it. Uh, we put it in our in our calculator. Uh, you know, it might have been right, it might have been wrong, uh, and uh, don't know. It might, it might might not have worked out for us. So we're going to make it easier. We're going to make it a bit, a bit more a bit more solid, really. And we're going to use a ratio table to do that. So what we're going to do, and we're just going to do this in, in in nice easy steps. We're going to look at our problem, and we're going to pick up the values um, that we need that we've got in this, uh, this uh, thing. What, what what have we got um, in our equation? So we've got some kilometers, and we've got some hours, and the other bit we've got some kilometers. So we've got kilometers, and we've got hours. Okay, so we can see those are the values, and we're going to put those on the left hand side of our ratio table. Yeah, so that's that's what I'd like you to do first. You put your kilometers and your hours in your left hand side, and a nice nice ratio table running left to right. Okay, and then we're going to have a look at our, our numbers. What is our ratios? And we're going to put a ratio that we've got available in the left hand side and where we need to get to um, in the far right hand side, whatever number we've got available to us in the far right hand side. So we've got um, 125 kilometers in one and a half hours, so that's our ratio that's going to go in the left hand side. And we need to get to 250 kilometers, and that's going to go in the right hand side. So if you can put those where you think they should go in the ratio table, and I'll, and I'll bring that up in a second. It should look like that. So we've got our, our ratio in the left hand side and our where we need to get to in the right. Okay, so that's our, our step two. And then step three, we're going to double these numbers until we get to a point where you can't fit another double in. Okay, so you're going to double that up. So you, you try and double that up. And, there, and the first double you're going to get is 125 times by two. So we're straight, straight away there. And then whatever you do to one of the numbers, you're going to do it uh, to the other. Yeah, so, so if we if we doubled one bit, you know, we, we multiply one by two, then we got to double up the one point five as well. So that's going to be three. So if you put that in your ratio table, um, that's what it should look like. That's the answer. That gets us to the three hours. So what we will see here is we got some advantages of this approach. Really, it was a lot less messy. We didn't have all these decimal place points all over the place. Uh, it was just simpler. And and um, okay, this was an easy equation, but when we get into some really complicated equations, and it's all getting a bit stressful in the exam. Um, you remember, you, you've got the time uh, to do it. You need to get on with it and make progress, but you have got time to lay out your ratio tables. And uh, and even if you get it wrong, um, you know, a little bit of it wrong somewhere, well, then you're getting method marks, and you get you get a lot of the marks uh, for it. So you're scoring on a, on an exam on an exam question that you might have just sort of said, oh, I can't I can't do that, and just moved on. Uh, you'll be getting some marks for for laying out your table and doing doing parts of it. And it was harder uh, there to mess up, actually. If you saw it, it wasn't really that, that difficult. We just went through and we doubled up, and, and uh, it's much much harder to mess up in there. So it's a sort of simpler approach, really. And especially then when we get to more complicated uh, ones, and because we're chopping up into these nice little small amounts, um, 
then making this big complicated equation into these small little chunks, a bit like climbing up a mountain where we just do a little bit, little bit, of, a little bit of climb, and then we go up a bit more and a bit more until uh, we get to the top, really, rather than trying to just leap up the top with no rope. Okay, so we're going to make it make it just nice and easy. So let's do something now. Well, now we've got our, our bones, our steps. We're going to now do something more complicated. So here you've got this question, and it's uh, a cheesecake for four people, and you've got these uh, uh, these these figures here. Uh, so that's what we've got as our as our question. And what we're going to do then is so step one, pick out the values and put in the ratio that you know is in the left hand side. So that's what we got. So pick out what our values are, and then put your left ratio in the left hand side, and then where you need to get to in the right hand side. So if you can just build that ratio equation for me. Hopefully, you should have created that. Okay, so that's the first step. That's the first bit that we got in. Now we're going to double up until we can double no more. So double away to your first double. And if you put that now in your ratio table, okay, so if you get those numbers in, and hopefully that's your first double. We can still double again, we can get another double in. So let's, you know, double of eight is 16. So let's get that, that in. If you put those numbers now in, double up again, please. And hopefully, you should have created that. So there we are, we're, we're, we're now quite a way forward. We've gone from four to 16, we're, 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 nearly, we're nearly there. And so that's, that's what we're gonna do first. We're gonna get, get ourselves doubled up you know, or you could, if you wanted to be a bit more, you know, a bit more complicated, you could have gone, well, I'll, I'll multiply that by 4 and get to the 16 and, and save myself an equation. But just doubling up, um, it's nice and easy. And then we're going to work out what's left. Okay, so in terms of what we've got left in here, well, we just need to get from the 16 to the 18. So that's the 16 to 18. So you can see that in your table, you've got a, um, you've got a 4 there, and half of 4 is 2. So... You know, if you just what you do to one but in the ratio table you do to another so put your two in and then just half the other bits of it and if you put that in your ratio table please so you got a two in there and then you put the whatever would two be to be worth put that in your table I'll bring that up now so that's how it should look so you got that now and then you're just going to add together your 16 and your two add those together and that will give you what's required for 18 people. So you add those all in together. That's what you should have. So as you can see there, what looked a bit complicated at start, you know, to go from 4 to 18 of all these various different numbers, we've just nicely chopped it up into small little small little amounts and um, chilled out a bit when we we're going along and, and just did it nice and nice and neatly. And there's only one decimal point in in this whole thing, um, or, or two, or two of them there, and not really that, not really that hard, really. What was it? Um, even though at first glance, when you looked at it, you might you might not have liked it. Okay, so we're going to make this now a bit a bit easier. Oh, sorry, a bit harder. Uh, Thirty people now want to come in, uh, and they want cheesecake. So uh, you've got your ratio table here. Now what you need to do is try and pull that forward uh, and get to thirty. So what you're going to do is, is you're going to find some combination first, and you're going to get close to 30. It doesn't matter what, what you want to go for, and uh, I'll show you what I did, but that's not um, you know not, not required. You, know, you you might want a different number or a different different set of figures in, in there. So I'm, I've got one way which I'm going to do, and I'm going to do uh, the 8 plus the 18. That will get me to 26. And then I've got a 4. I'll add the 4 and the 26 together uh, to get to 30. So that's what I'm going to do. In there, so I'll bring that up in a, in a second. But you decide whatever combinations that you want to do um, to get you to the to the 30. So if you can just fill those in, please. Now I'll give you a minute to do that. So hopefully you made that. And that's really, that's all it is, is, is just adding, adding those number two, playing around whatever combinations you might have gone for. Um, I don't know, some people might have gone for um, 
the 4 plus the 16 plus the 8 plus the 2. You could have done it done it that way, and that, that still would have got you got you all the way there as well. So um, however you want to play around with it, there's no hard and fast rules. Probably the easiest thing to do is, is the sort of the, the doubling up to get close uh, first. That, that that's useful to, to get you in there. It makes it makes it nice and simple. And really that that was it. That's that's ratio tables. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot.